Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome for another edition of the video productions by the Ortelino Company. My name is Dieter, Dieter von Schurer, and I'm the owner and manager of this little company. And we've sold Japanese prints, also partly contemporary Chinese prints and other contemporary artist prints in weekly online auctions since 2001. As an online auction, we are already rather old. And we produce these videos. And today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is about a famous Shinanga artist, not a Japanese, born in Japanese um, artist, but um, a British uh, artist who worked in this Japanese woodblock print style. And her name is Elizabeth Keith. And collectors of Japanese prints know this name. So she's famous for woodblock prints made in Japanese Shin Hanga style. And her prints are rare and well, quite expensive. Elizabeth Keith was born in Scotland in 1887. She passed away in 1956 and she began her career with watercolors and drawings. But then happened something. In 1915, she went on a journey to Japan. At that time, she was 28 years old. Why? I mean, in 1915, uh, going on a journey to Japan was rather unusual. Yeah. Um, the reason is quite simple. Her sister had married a publisher in Japan. And now let me turn around. Um, and there you see a photograph, pretty good photograph of the two sisters. That's Elizabeth Keith and that's her sister, both in a lush kimono, probably in Tokyo. Well, um, when she went on that journey, she thought she might return maybe one month later or something like that. But it turned out that she stayed in Japan for nine years. And she tried to continue her career as an artist, um, tried to get clients, which at the beginning came mostly from the community, community of foreigners in Japan, diplomats, people um, with money and a, a sense for art. One day, Elizabeth Keith got to know Watanabe Shotsaburo. Who is Watanabe Shotsaburo? Well, he was the famous publisher and mentor of the so-called Shinhanga art movement in Japan. That is the dominant art movement for the production of woodblock prints for the first half of the 20th century in Japan. And collectors know this art movement very well. Today, these prints are very, very expensive and the prices are steadily going upwards. Anyway, um, the artisans of Watanabe Shotsaburo, artisans, carvers and printers, they transformed the watercolors of Elizabeth Keith into woodblock prints. Woodblock prints Japanese style, Japanese woodblock print technique. And like this, over the time, more than a hundred woodblock print designs by Elizabeth Keith were published by Watanabe Shotsaburo. However, Elizabeth Keith, she was not just satisfied by submitting a watercolor to the artisans of the Watanabe studio. She wanted to acquire herself a fundamental a deep understanding of uh, this Japanese woodblock technique. And she spent a lot of time with the carvers and printers uh, to learn herself uh, how this technique works. And um, what's important like this, she was capable of overseeing the complete process. While Elizabeth Keith was in Japan for these nine years, uh, she could further enhance her career and she had exhibitions not only in Japan but also in London and in New York. In New York. At that time she was already a famous artist and um, her prints um, were already um, expensive 
at her lifetime. Nevertheless, in 1924, she returned to England. Later in the 1930s, she revisited Asia, especially Japan, several times, I think two or three times. Let me now talk a little bit about uh, the market, the collector market for Shinhanga prints by Elizabeth Keith. I already mentioned Elizabeth Keith prints are rare and expensive. Her editions were always rather small. Nevertheless, already at her lifetime, um, her prints used to be expensive. Um, I give you an example how rare they are. Ortolino, since its establishment as an online auction in 2001, uh, has sold several thousands of uh, prints by the famous Shinhanga artist Hazui Kawase, also an, expen an expensive artist, several thousands. But during the 23 years of our existence, we could offer our clients only roughly a dozen um, prints by Elizabeth Keith worth being mentioned regarding quality uh, since 2001. And there you see how rare they are. Yeah, uh, Prices, at least US dollar thousand um, for a design by Elizabeth Keith as the absolute minimum. And now comes the good news. In June of 2024, we received an exceptional consignment and in this consignment package, we had this awesome um, print by Elizabeth Keith. It's titled Flower Street in Hong Kong. It was first published in 1925. And in my view, and in the view of the Ortolino team, it's not only an awesome, act, exceptional print, I think it's one of the best print designs by Elizabeth Keith. Um, Elizabeth even mentioned this uh, print in a letter to her friend and collector Gertrude Bess Warner. The letter is from February 21, 1944. And now beginning of citation. A rather difficult one to print. I could not leave the printer to his own sweet will. I suppose that is why I had so few printed. I am so glad it is to be in your collection. There will never be a flower street like that again in Hong Kong. Well, this is what Elizabeth Keith wrote to uh, her friend and collector Gertrude Bess Warner on February 21, 1944. The source for this citation is a literature, a uh, catalogue raisonné by Richard Miles, by the, way, the same author who also, who also wrote uh, the catalogue raisonné for Paul Jacolet. And you find um, this print published in this catalogue raisonné on page 31 of the book. Anyway, um, we have this print in the current auction. It already has um, counter bids, but um, I suppose uh, it will go much higher than it currently is. We will see. The auction will end tomorrow. And if you want to inform yourself uh, about the artist Elizabeth Keith, as always in our educational section, you find a lot of articles. And there you also find an article, short biography about Elizabeth Keith. And a few days ago, I added this Flower Street in Hong Kong with a little bit uh, of an explanation. Um, enjoy our website, enjoy our auction, and thanks for watching and seeing you next time, hopefully again, my friends. Goodbye.